I couldn't be found Off my big home The bare necessities of life will come to you They'll come to you So here, here we can see the side, and this is what I'm like dealing with. So the specs, I believe I can get off with just enough pressure, but what what I did with the Novus just it did not cut it. And I thought I spent hours on this thing. I can't really tell the difference now. Maybe I just didn't do it right or what. But what I'm gonna do is kind of like go back from square one. I really want this to be nice. And it has its own imperfections, as you can see the hazing on the, the edges here. But it's not like a big deal. Though I'm a little worried about it. I wanted to get this done as soon as possible because I almost feel like the hazing is getting worse and worse the longer it's out in the cold. Which is kind of weird, but maybe it just means that this wasn't built the best. So, before it gets any worse, and I'm not like looking at the sides, like... Now this is really hard to see on this camera. Now it's really hard to see because it's hard to like focus in. But you can see, I feel like it's getting worse and worse. Because when I first bought the tank, it was not this bad. Now I'm not worried about it until it starts like going all the way through because it still has a seal. And this thing's not gonna like just come apart like that. But anyway, so my objective is to get this thing inside it is currently a Thursday night, so my objective is to get this thing good enough to get inside, meaning it's gonna have to get hard plumbed, and I have some warmer weather coming up this weekend, fingers crossed. So the idea is to get this thing fully plumbed, water test it, and get this thing indoors. So I'm gonna have to work on getting all the paint off, and it's a latex paint, so I've already kinda scratched off the corner, and it's, it's coming off pretty easy. So I'm gonna have to scrape that off, uh, that may take a little bit of time, and then um, I'm going to sand this thing down. So originally I wasn't going to sand it. I was just going to use that Novus cleaner with some uh, polishing pads for the drill and kind of take it from there, but I'm not getting the results that I want, and I really want this thing to look nice. So I have some 1000 and 2000 grit sandpaper here, which is what I'm going to use on the tank to get it uh, get all the scratches I can out and see how it does. So I'm gonna use this and like, I'm gonna test it out on one of the sides first to see how well it works and kind of go through the entire process from uh, using the 1000, then the 2000 grit sandpaper, and then I'm gonna use the Novus cleaning system or the scratch removal um, liquid, whatever, and kind of buff that out using the, the polishing pads I have and see what I can do and see how good it looks and kind of go from there. If I see positive results, I will continue with it and do the rest of the tank. Um, if not, then I'm going to discontinue it, call it a day, and kind of just clean it up the best I can. So we'll see, I've never done this before. I'm actually really worried about it, but uh, you live once, right? So to just give you kind of an idea of what we're gonna be working with beforehand. So this is what it looks like right now. So this is a before. We'll see what it looks like after. All right, so after the uh, using all three steps of the Nova system, sanding it down using this. So, the thing is, you can actually see scratches, but they're on the bottom. So, <laughs> I don't want you to like think that it didn't actually do anything. You can still see some. It's really hard to see though. 
there are a few small imperfections still and it's a little hazy but I think it's mainly due to the Novus um, plastic stuff and there's like some marks down here that I just I tried I actually went over with the sander twice and uh, I just I can't I can't do anything about this unfortunately some of these are bigger than the others uh, but I mean it kind of looks like a big improvement to me I got all the specs off and most of the you know big unsightlies I am a little like there's I can see some like tread marks it's kind of hard to make out because this thing does not want to focus uh, there you go you can kind of see tread marks from the sander so what I'm gonna do is kind of just really touch this up with the you know polishing I'm almost out so I'm actually gonna go order some more um, so I'm probably not gonna be able to finish this you know uh, might not even be able to finish this this weekend so we'll see if I can get like next day shipping or if I can find a star that has it and then I'm gonna have to get some like warm water I think and really rinse this well because I think the residues really kind of give me this hazy hazy look but we'll see how it goes and but I would consider this a success it's not like super clear but um, I'm, I'm actually kind of happy with it so we'll uh, we'll see how this goes so it's been a few days since that all went down I sand to the side and all that so uh, what I did actually I took all of the paint off the tank and it's still it's a little sticky but it's it's drying right now um, so I took all the paint off and I spent literally all day <laughs> working on sanding and polishing the back now the the side I, I really wasn't happy with how it looked it was still kind of hazy and I was having the same problem with the back of the tank so I went to advanced auto parts or just so you can find this stuff at any auto parts store so I picked up one of these things it was a headlight renewal kit um, it was mainly for uh, this <laughs> this attachment right here it worked really well for what I wanted I think my other pads were not the best materials um, but this one came highly recommended by another youtuber in one of their videos and that's what I set out for is that guy I use this uh, Meguiar's Plast X. This I think actually works a lot better than the Novus. I don't plan on using the Novus again so when I go ahead and start sanding down the front of the tank which I'm really worried about I plan on only using this product. Along with that an important thing to note microfiber cloths. This is a 25 pack. I went through a 20 pack right there Again, I'm sorry for the mess. It's gross. Um, I went through that 20 pack of yellow microfibers. Uh, easy. You're supposed to be using a different cloth for every step of this Nova stuff. You got a three, two, and then one, which I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. And then one. Uh, it's the three different steps. This one's for heavy scratches, finer scratch removal, and then the class, uh, clean and shine step. But this kind of does it all in one, and I, I was actually really happy with the results of that. I don't even know why I'm gonna show you this, because it's black and it's really dark, but it looks actually much smoother. It's so hard to tell, I know. I don't have the best lighting here, but it is is really smooth, like really smooth. There are no specs. There's nothing there. It's fantastic. I'm so happy with the results of this. So I was super scared, but I'm glad it, it's like such a nice shine to it. I'm really happy with the results of this. So, so, so my next step is to sand and polish the front of the tank and the two sides. I'm going to redo that one, or at least I'm going to polish it up and make it look nice. I may not sand it. We'll see. Let's see what I what I feel like doing tomorrow because that's this literally took me all day to do and I think it's good I think I, I put four coats of the latex paint it's rust-oleum brand I think um, anyway it's just a uh, fast drying latex paint um, don't be scared it kind of goes on blue but it uh, it dries as black so but again it looks looks great I'm happy with it so here we have started sanding the front so I did the interior 
and the exterior of both the 1000 and 2000 grit. I hit the big areas that had the most scratches and I kind of went over it uh, double on some areas. So um, I just got all the extra residue off, or at least most of it. Well, I guess now I'm going to start polishing. So let's see how this goes. This is the part I've been most nervous about, but hey, the other, the back actually came out great. So there are, I see not a single speck here. This looks professional. And the reflection on here, I mean, this is great. So if I can get the, the front to be as good as the back, I'm confident I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. I look like crap. I've been in the garage literally for the last like 48 hours working on this thing. Uh, I've uh, I sanded the entire thing. I repainted the back and then I polished everything. And that is what took most of the time, polishing and making sure that it is uh, scratch free. And I gotta admit, I'm not, it is satisfactory. <laughs> I'm not super thrilled with all the effort that I put in and the results that I got from it, but I don't think there's much else I can do at this point. So I touched it up, I cleaned it out, and I'm getting ready to hard plumb the tank, and then I'm going to water test it all. If you guys remember what it looked like before, all the scratches and everything, Uh, there's still some haziness and the residue that's left over from um, cleaning it all off and the polish and stuff. So I still, I still need to get all that stuff off, but let's go in here. And you can see all those white specks, gone. And you can even see how my finger just kind of leaves a mark there. It's all that extra residue, which should come off when I... Uh, when I rinse it out, I do apologize for the lighting. I don't have much light in the garage, but uh, I mean, I'm I'm happy with it. I got all the big things out. There's just literally like dust sticking it to it everywhere. But yeah, I'm not even gonna worry about the bottom. That's just like leftover paper, and the bottom is like riddled with battle scars and stuff. So I'm not even gonna bother trying to fix that up. It's gonna be covered with sand anyway. So. Uh, yeah, I am, I'm happy. We are one step closer to getting this reef tank ready. And then, so, yeah, until next time, so stay tuned. Uh, next video, I'm gonna show you everything I do to hard plumb and water test this beast. We're so close, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Fish on, fish fam, and I'll catch you later. Hey, are you new to the fish keeping hobby? Or are you a veteran with experience you'd like to share with others? Either way, why don't you come and join the rest of the community in the discussion on the Fishy Business Discord server. Discord is a community-driven chat application. Freshwater, saltwater, shrimp, and more. Our community grows every day. All are welcome and we would love if you would join us. You can find links to the server and the application in the description below. And as always, we thank you for watching the video. So fish on, fish fam, and we'll see you there.